We have a special day today. This is our home group push, our home group celebration. And so I want to invite you all to be thinking about home group today and throughout your weeks. Come on in and let's talk about home groups for one second. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the pastors. And today I get the privilege of sharing with you uh, our home group uh, invite and uh, we're going to have a fair uh, in between services after both services downstairs. And there'll be home groups that you could talk to there, uh, leaders, and you can check out home groups and get to know people. So um, let me just remind all of us why we do home group. It's really hard to underestimate just how important home group is to the vision of this church. It's really where uh, a lot of the Christian life happens. And if you think about uh, our congregation and caring for everybody in the congregation, um, from my standpoint, this is really the span of care. So every home group leader is connected to the people in his or her home group. And then every home group leader is connected to an elder who is supporting, encouraging, and praying for them. And then the elders gather together and we talk about the home groups and how to shepherd people well. And so, you know, if you're not in a home group, you're not directly linked into that span of care. There's like a chain. uh, And so you're being cared for uh, in that way. And so I want to really emphasize just how critical it is. For too many years, I think the church, not just this church, but the church all around the globe, especially in the United States, has relied on the Sunday morning service to carry the lift of the discipleship load. And that just isn't going to work. You can't do it all on a Sunday. Sunday morning has an important role, but we need to be in each other's lives. And so home group is extremely important. In fact, this year, um, as we've talked about the focus of each one of the pastors, I'm going to be giving extra attention to the home groups and uh, hopefully taking, helping to get them to next level, even as we think about shepherding uh, and, and making disciples. So very excited about that. And this is also a way for you to experience the fullness of the Christian walk. When you're part of a home group, you're with other believers on a regular basis. And, it, and a home group's not really just the meeting. It's, it's the community of people that are doing life together on some level. And embedded in that process of doing life together is, you know, the key things that are associated with, with following Jesus. So worshiping and being discipled and serving others and living on mission. The only thing is you're not trying to do all that on your own. You're doing it within a community that's helping to structure and organize that process. And so uh, I just want to invite you, you know, to, to go all in with your Christian walk, with your walk with Jesus and take advantage of home group as an opportunity to really uh, accelerate that, to live into the fullness and the riches of our walk with Jesus. In order to do that, you need community, and community is, the, is home group is the key place where you experience that community. So we're going to have uh, Sue come on up and share a little testimony about home group. Come on up, Sue. <laughs> this out because I'm really tired and I might miss something. So bear with me. Good morning, Solano. My name is Sue, and I want to share with you about my home group experience. A little background on me. My husband, John, and I first attended Solano last Easter 2022 and became members in January 2023 after a new members class. Before Solano, it had been an eight-plus year dry spell with church attendance and Christian fellowship. And then throw in COVID and I was just definitely ready to go to church and find a home group again. With John's encouragement and prayer, I found this church through Instagram. And it was pretty amazing. I I had prayed about it and prayed about it, and I got nothing. And then, boop, there it goes, right on Instagram. And I've not seen another church ad since. So as far as home group... God was still working. When I attended an open uh, church meeting last summer, I met Sohi. We connected over a comment she had about worrying about feeling hard-hearted and how that was affecting her walk with the Lord. That also described how I was feeling. She and Brett were praying about starting a home group out on their patio last fall when school started. In September 2022, the prayer patio was born. There was little challenge on picking the day because the group agreed Friday would be the best due to family schedules and needs. 
So definitely consider this when you pick your home group. What fits best and where do you need a boost of support during the week? Another concern people have is being afraid to share. I really wanted to connect with people, so being shy at home group was not an option. Just know that there is no pressure to share and you can go at your own pace. And every home group, it, all the info is respectfully confidential. What I can say about home group is that you will meet some amazing people who will challenge you, support you, and grow you and, the point, and point you to Jesus. I am better for it. In my home group discussions, I can see how God is changing me, my mind, my habits, my behaviors to reflect more of him, opening my eyes up to scripture and celebrating answered prayer. My home group also commits to each other. We keep in touch during the week with prayer requests, praise reports, our daily lives, jokes, encouraging scriptures, and devotionals. We bring food to each other if there's a need, and we have fun together as well, like seeing Jesus' revolution and going out to eat. This is what home group does. This is what home group is for. This is what mine does. Like within the Trinity itself and the Father's desire for us all, unity in community. So please prayerfully consider joining a home group. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sue. So if that touches your heart, it touches mine, then uh, here's what you could do. Some next steps to get involved with home group. How to join a home group. Go ahead and go for it. I'm going to rely on the slides. So first of all, uh, um, look at the card that you've got right here. You can fill this out, and uh, you could fill it out online by using the QR code, and uh, we'll get you some more information that way. And then step number two is you can get connected by coming downstairs after service and joining us as um, we have home group leaders available. You see that we all have name tags on today because we want to make it easy for us to connect and go to that next level. So ask about home groups. Come down to the social. Um, you can then email Pastor Paul at paul at solanochurch.org. And then step three, you're going to visit a home group. So pick a few home groups to visit, email them uh, from the website. You can do that from the website and let them know that you're coming. And, uh, and then just try it out. We kind of have an open policy here. You can come and visit, and, uh, and, and you could visit several of them and just prayerfully ask God, where do you want me to be in community? Because I know the Lord wants you to be in community. He doesn't want you to try to live this Christian life on your own. So jump in. Get connected, be a part of a home group, and you will be blessed and you'll be a blessing.